In our last couple of lessons, we've talked about the fact that God is holy. God is just. Judgment is coming. Well, and maybe you're like, I don't like the justice of God. I want to tell you the justice of God is wonderful if you understand it properly and respond to the justice of God in the right way. Let me explain. Because of the justice of God, what Jesus did for us can bring salvation. I'm Dave Early. Thanks for joining us. This is just a simple, basic Bible teaching that will change your life. We've talked about the fact God is just. It is who he is. And because he's just, he must examine and punish sin. It's what he must do because he is just. He, there's no option. He, he must respond. The problem is we're sinful. We're sinful. Romans chapter 6 says the wages of sin is death, punishment, separation, separation from God. We're sinful. We deserve punishment for our sin. That's bad news. That's the, where the justice of God is bad news. But it becomes good news. Jesus Christ never sinned. God loves you so much. He sent his son Jesus Christ to become one of us, to live a life just like us, to never break any of his commandments. Jesus never worshipped any other god. He never uh, misused the name of God. He never prioritized something else ahead of worshipping God in his schedule. Uh, he honored his parents. He never wanted to murder anybody. He had a heart of forgiveness. He, he, he didn't become unrighteously angry. He, um, Jesus Christ, he didn't lust after uh, other people sexually. He didn't lust after their money or anything that they had, their power or their position. Jesus, he didn't lie. He didn't cheat. Jesus, perfect. He never sinned. And because he never sinned, he doesn't deserve punishment. A just judge must also reward righteousness, and Jesus earned eternal life. But Jesus took our punishment. He died in our place for our sins. That's the amazing thing. This is where the justice of God becomes amazing. God does something just. How can God have a relationship with us? There's only one way. Somebody's got to pay the price and clear out our unrighteousness and give us their righteousness. And that's what Jesus did. It says in 2 Corinthians 5.21, For God the Father made Jesus, who knew no sin, to become sin for us so that we might become the righteousness of God in him. We're told in 1 Peter 3.18, For Christ also has once suffered, he died for sins, the just, that's Jesus, for the unjust, that's us, that he might bring us to God. He might tear down the wall of separation between us and God that we might be saved. And so we receive his reward. It's not automatic. We receive his reward through faith and repentance. It's a gift that you have to receive. It's offered, but you have to receive it. It says in Ephesians chapter 2, verse 8 and 9, uh, for by grace, God's undeserved gift, you are saved through faith, not of yourselves. It is the gift of God. You can't earn it. Nobody can boast. So we're saved and we receive his reward through repentance and faith. So the big question today is, have you received his reward through repentance and faith? If you're not sure, you're feeling the conviction of God on your heart right now as God is drawing you to himself. You're not watching this video by accident. God wants to draw you to himself. And your response to him is simple. It's not easy, but it's simple. It's as simple as A, B, and C. A, I admit that I have sinned. I admit that I am unrighteousness. I admit that I deserve punishment. B, I believe Jesus Christ never sinned. I believe he took my sin. He, he was punished for my sin. He died on the cross for my sin. And he rose again to give me eternal life. And C, 
I call on the name of the Lord to save me. I commit my life to following the Lord Jesus as the Lord of my life for the rest of my life. Now, I'm going to give you an opportunity to do that if God's speaking to you right now. I'm going to say a prayer. If you believe it and you, you, you want this uh, to be true of you, repeat it after me. The words aren't going to save your soul. Saying a prayer is not going to save your soul. It's your heart as you speak these words, as you say this prayer. You've got to believe in your heart and confess with your mouth that God raised Jesus from the dead to be saved. Well, let's pray. Dear God, I admit that I have sinned. Say that to God right now. I admit that I have sinned. I admit that I cannot save myself. I admit that I cannot save myself. I admit that I deserve punishment. I admit that I deserve punishment. I believe Jesus Christ never sinned. I believe Jesus Christ never sinned. I believe Jesus died to pay for my sin. I believe Jesus died to pay for my sin. I believe Jesus Christ rose from the dead. I believe Jesus Christ rose from the dead. Father in heaven, forgive me for my sins. Father, forgive me for my sins. I call on the name of the Lord Jesus. Save me. I call on the name of the Lord Jesus. Save me. I commit my life to following him. Him, number one, for the rest of my life. I commit my life to following him for the rest of my life. I encourage you if, you, if you prayed that prayer, make a comment under this video. I just got saved. I just got saved. I encourage you to share this video with others. Share all these videos. The holiness of God, the justice of God, the judgment of God. And I encourage you to tell other people of what Jesus has done for you and live out the reality that he is the Lord of your life. I'm Dave Early. We'd love for you to follow us on Facebook, like our page. We'd love for you to subscribe to our YouTube channel. We will teach you the Bible five days a week, daily discipleship.